Hi, this is Mr Evans. This video looks at uh, the first of the efficiency ratios you need to know, uh, which is payable days. So uh, we're into this final set of ratios now, uh, starting off with payable days. So um, what what is an efficiency ratio? Well, basically these ratios, you've got three of them that you need to know. Um, these ratios are basically how effectively a business is managing its assets. So these are often um, uh, looked at by management to see, you know, are we managing uh, the resources that we have in the best way possible? Um, the first of these that you need to know is called payable days, it used to be called creditor days, um, but it's, uh, it's now called payables days. And basically this is just a measure of how long it takes in days for an organisation to pay their creditors. In other words, how long does it take them to pay off their, their short-term debts? When they've bought an item on credit from a supplier, how long does it take to uh, pay them off? And it's calculated by the payables divided by the cost of sales times 365 for the days in the year. Payables is money that is owed to um, uh, uh, suppliers. Cost of sales is obviously the variable cost of production, times that by 365, and it gives us an indication of how long it's taking us to pay our debts. Now we need both the um, balance sheet and the income statement for this. Now, we don't have uh, payables uh, listed. It would be on the balance sheet, um, but it's probably our current liabilities, okay? The debts that we owe in the next 12 months they are our payables, okay? So we'll take the current liabilities figure if there isn't a specific payables figure. And uh, you can see that is listed there. We also need the cost of sales. And unfortunately, we don't have that, but we do have the revenue and the gross profit. And if you know how the uh, income statement is constructed, you know that the difference between revenue and gross profit, the difference between these two figures, is the cost of sales. This is why it's so important to understand these different terms how gross profit is calculated, otherwise you'll be stuck in the exam because you're not going to know how to calculate the cost of sales. So uh, let's put that into the formula. The payables, we said that was the uh, current liabilities. Um, the difference between the sales revenue and the gross profit was um, 5,462.7, that's our cost of sales, and we times that by 365, it gives us 273, but we're expressing that in days. So it's taking this company 273 days between um, receiving its supplies and paying its supplies, which seems like quite a long time to me. These were figures given in the uh, 2017 exam. So how do we interpret that information? How can we interpret uh, the payables days? Well, first of all, suppliers are going to want to use this information uh, to learn how long it's going to, going to take for them to get paid or how long this business takes on average to pay its suppliers. Um, a long waiting period indicates that maybe the business isn't very good at, um, at paying its debts, not very reliable. Or it's got some cash flow problems that, that could be um, uh, problematic. Uh, from the point of view of the business itself, well, we want to have a look at the next ratio that you need to know, receivables days. And uh, from a cash flow point of view, um, if our payables are longer than our receivables, then that's good. What it means is we're receiving money from our um, customers before we pay our um, our suppliers. So in other words, we're selling the product, we're getting the cash in before we need to give money to our suppliers. So from a cash point uh, flow point of view, if your payables days are longer than your receivables days, that's great. If on the other hand, you your payables days are coming before, shorter than your receivables days, that might be an indication of cash flow problems because you are paying your suppliers before you get the money from your customers. Okay, so you would often use payables days um, in conjunction with receivables days and then we can start to think about uh, whether this business is facing cash flow problems or whether it's managing its cash flow quite well. How would we improve payables? Well, um, obviously pay suppliers more quickly. 
on the but you know the, the, the problem with that is okay it's all very easy to say that but do we ha actually have the cash or is there going to be cash flow problems created if we start paying off our suppliers a bit quicker if we wanted to uh, lengthen the amount of time, we could see if we can agree longer payment terms with our suppliers. Maybe it's taking us a while to chase up our clients for money. Um, we might need to negotiate a longer payment term with suppliers. But obviously there could be dangers in that in terms of damaging the reputation of the business as being a reliable business that pays its debts on time.